Well, good morning. Sun's almost shining. And I got my lightweight jacket on. Last couple days I was out here with my winter coat and toboggan on and about to freeze to death. Oh well. Hey, I'll show you what I did do, doing this morning. I took the radiator off. Uh, I told the fella what was wrong with it and he kind of didn't hardly understand about it. But anyhow, so we'll see what see what the results are but I got this old headlight off of farm oil for an example the will be Alice supposed to be a nut welded in right there and uh, to screw the lights in and then you put the hood and everything on tighten the nut up on the outside where you want it the guy said, well, maybe you could just put it on there, but I don't know how, after you get the hood on, don't know how that'd work out very good. Then there's supposed to be some tin here with a place to hook up your light wires, and that's gone too. So I got this whole radiator off of a, oh, a tractor I got for parts last winter, and it fits on there pretty good. The drain, drain valve's dripping a little. But, show you. Oh, how do you do two hand deal? Anyhow, the light screws in there. Oh, yeah, that's the way the lights on a B, B or C goes. And then you put, well, you put the cow on first and then you put the hood on and then after you get the hood on you got a lock nut here that tightens up last after you get everything put together and then the wire comes through and hooks up to here and your wiring from your harness hooks to there to make the lights work so it's something that looks like it was about necessary if you wanted it done right and uh Oh, I try to do things right. They're almost right. So, uh, that's where we're at today. It looks a good radiator. When I come out here, I had to tighten a couple of hose clamps a little bit. They were dripping a little. And that drain valve's dripping a little. It'll, it'll stop eventually. But, uh, oh, that's what we got. So, uh, Full water, well, I had to put about, yeah, antifreeze is real thick. I put about a half gallon of water in it to fill it up. So, we're good there. So, I'm going to put it back together and put the gas tank. I think I can put the battery wire in with the gas tank on. I hope. All right, I better get to busy. Yeah, I got some work done today. Got the air cleaner back on, the gas tank on, new fuel line, put around the, put it on the wrong way, the way everybody does it nowadays. Yeah, I took that new battery box off, it was scratched up, put some primer paint on it. Get up town, I'll get a can of orange, squirt them and make it look like the rest of it. Now we're down on that old C down there, got the brake locks put them on here so that's way it to be got that bolted down had to rethread that bolt it was boogered I uh, got that fixed got the radiator all back on good had the, the new wiring wasn't long enough had to put extension on it to get up here to the where the light wires come through here and through there and hooks to there and uh, so I got everything about done. I'm gonna put some gas in and start up here in a minute. But I was walking by here and where's that? Look at there, what's laying on the ground. I wonder how that got. 
That belongs right there. Well, I guess I gotta start over. All right, I'll get with it. Well, that wasn't so bad. It only took about five minutes. There we go. It's good for now. All right, that's enough for today. Well, good Wednesday morning. It's raining finally. I went up to the grocery store, Walmart, got groceries. Went around to Tractor Supply. Got a can of orange paint to touch up that battery box and a couple other spots. And on the way home, I stopped dollar store and got me one of these cheapy knives so I can cut the upholstery out of the old school bus out back and reupholster my Alice Chalmers B seats for myself instead of buying new ones. But when I got home, look at what I got. A box from Steiner. New parts for old tractors. Telephone number 800-234-3280. I called them Friday. And here's Wednesday. They said they'd ship it out Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. So I guess it only took about a day to get here. So now we'll see what we got in here. Look at there, that cuts easy. But they stapled it together so this thing don't work. Uh, enough of that. Well. Got paper. Look at there. I got a new hat. Had to pay a dollar for it. Oh well. Should have been freebie. Here's the invoice. Oh, whatever's in here. We'll see. Two new battery cables for a six volt ba six volt battery. That's what the guy wants. What else we got? Gear shift boot. One for him and one for me. That goes right there. Slide it, slide it down. Goes there. This one goes on my tractor. more paper and I spec well here little electric wire thing we got here bubble wrap uh, 
That looks sort of like what they're supposed to be. Yeah. I explained to that guy his old radiator while well, I was way over here. When you put that in there, it'd be kind of hard to keep that in there. And then there's no place to fasten electric wire. So uh, I put this other one on. And uh, let's see where it fits. The wire goes in the hole. Then you screw it in there. And you get it where it belongs and you tighten up the lock nut and there you go. And then this wire goes, you got to put it up through that hole and then hook it on here. Alright, so that'll work. Let's see what else we got. There's another headlight for the other side. Oh, I guess nothing breakable in there. Oh, look at that pretty thing. That's even the right size. That looked better on there than what was it was. Well, we'll lay it over here for now. All right, let's see what else we got. Hey there, brand new foam rubber seat with plastic on it. Oh, that's as hard as a rock. Oh, well, that's what the replacements are. Yeah, what else we got here? Some gasket sets that I ordered. Ain't nothing else down there, don't look like. That box is empty. Oh, well. Where's my cow tails? Lights was made in Taiwan. No yeah, lights in there. Well, it looks like I got most everything I wanted, except you always put two or three cow tails in there so you can have something to chew on while you're putting the tractor together. Boy, no cow tails. Oh well. Alright, I guess I better get busy and get this thing done. Well, when I get it going, I'll 
show you what what we ended up with all right that's enough for now well ain't that pretty new seat new steering wheel brakes work new battery cables new battery box over there waiting for the paint to dry put the gas tank on cleaned it out put some gas at the sediment bowl new fuel line took the carburetor apart a half a dozen times trying to get all the old crud out of it it's almost deteriorated away should be a new one got the lights on I don't know where you can see way up there or where the electric wires all hook up everything like they're supposed to be and uh, Let's see, what else did I do? Got the distributor pushed over a little so that the wires aren't touching. So, oh, got the gear shift boot on and the uh, wheels are put on proper. Well, I'm going to get a new battery put in. We'll be done. Then I can do something else. Well, I got a battery here for the tractor. About half the price of tractor supply. Well, good evening. I'm about done with this thing. I worked on it this Thursday. Um, the guy couldn't find the key to the switch. And uh, so I hunted all over everywhere to try to find another switch, and I couldn't find one. And uh, that's the one that was in it. And finally broke down and bought one uptown. That's what everybody's got. That was $17 up at O'Reilly's. Napa had some kind of a switch they wanted $47 for. And I'll give the guy a chance to find a key for $47. Well, anyhow, had it run today. Everything run pretty good except got sputters till it gets warmed up pretty good. So I ended up putting a little toggle switch in there for the on and off. And, uh, uh let's go for a ride. Boy, that darn shut off valve gets snug. I got two or three tractors like that. You shut them off real good, and then you got to use a pair of pinchers to just, uh, oh, whatever. Just a little bit. Then, then, then they turn all right. I guess you always got to shut the gas off on a tractor because it might leak. This one doesn't leak too bad just yet, but uh, I guess you shouldn't push it down too tight. wonder how you're supposed to get on one of these darn things. I made it. Oh. These things set pretty good once you get set down on them. Now, gonna start on 6 volt. I've been running, sp experimenting with 12, and 6 just don't turn it over quite like 12 did. Got juice. All right, let's see what happens. You got the spotter. Let's 
these are two spark plugs or a condenser or something. Shut it off. All right. All right. Warms up a little. Runs pretty good. I guess got to get that figured out, and we'll be done with this thing. All right. That's all for now. Well, look here. Oh, where's that? Lights work. It was never that bright back when we had an Alice back in the 50s. I think the biggest reason. I put an extra ground wire here from there to there. That made a nice and good connection. All right.